Good morning and welcome. I'm Christine and today I'm taking morning prayer from the Northumbria community. You'll find it on our website, Dead and Menardley Parishes, under resources. Our reading today is Acts chapter 2, beginning at the first verse. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. And so we seek our Lord Jesus Christ. An answer to the question, To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, for we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So our topic today is the Holy Spirit who came at Pentecost. You remember from the other readings that there's been a period of waiting for the coming of the Holy Spirit. This is what Jesus told his disciples to do, to wait. So they all gathered together. And what I love so much is that they were all together in one place, all 120 of them. They were united. And I'm sure, they, I'm sure that during that time, they'd been praising the Lord Jesus Christ, whom they'd seen crucified, risen, ascended, and who they knew was now glorified because he was with the Father. So that was their faith. They also had memories of what had happened in Old Testament times. Many people had been endued with the Holy Spirit for different tasks that the Lord had given them. And even in Moses' day, 70 of the elders had been given the Holy Spirit so they could share the, the task that Moses had. So they had precedent for this waiting and they were doing it also in obedience. And then the day came. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were standing in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, Are not all these men who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Paspadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the part of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of the God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they ask one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. So the Holy Spirit that had been promised came. It came on the Jews that were there and on the converts to Judaism who were there. This new way of walking with the Father. How wonderful it must have been. And you notice that the men came streaming out into the streets immediately so that they could hear and share what had been happening to them in that upper room where they had waited. 
So what happens today? Is the Holy Spirit still given? Yes, he is. He's here among us. He's here in the world, doing the work of proclaiming Jesus is the Lord. So why should people speak in tongues? Well, it's a way of communicating with others the wonders of God. So the first re one of the first reasons that the Holy Spirit was given was for communication so that we could tell other people about Jesus and what had happened in Jerusalem all those years ago and how Jesus is alive today. So that's why we need the Holy Spirit. And the other reason that we need the Holy Spirit is to praise God. And sometimes we speak in tongues because we can't put into words the wonder that we feel when we're in the presence of God. So let's thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. He comes to minister in many ways, first in the body and then out uh, into the world where he takes us to share the good news. So let's give thanks and praise God. Lord, we want to praise God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. It was poured out on all believers because of what Jesus had done in taking our human flesh back into heaven. And the Father promised that he would pour out his Spirit on all flesh. And this is what happened that first Pentecost. And still the Holy Spirit comes and works among us. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for this gift. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for winning this by your precious blood. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming among us. We praise and glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for this wonderful gift. And so let's pray for the church, which means all members who are of the body of Christ, wherever we may be at the moment, scattered all together. And we thank you, Lord, that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are poured out on us to build us up in faith and in unity. And let us finally pray for the world. Pray that we may tell the good news to more and more people, especially in these coming days, as problems increase and darkness increases. Let us proclaim the wonders of God and his mercy on all mankind. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now for our strengthening, we put on Christ. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield. Christ beside me, on my left and on my right. And so his blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God go with you today. Amen.